Arcs Projects. A cathodic protection firm. Please contact us by email info at arcsprojects.com and arcsprojects at gmail.com. Visit us our website www.arcsprojects.com. Mobile number plus 91 8,980,275,220, Our slogan. ARCS. Let's make your life flying cathodes. Here we are briefing for direct current voltage gradient survey. First of all, we are describing the objective of direct current voltage gradient survey. Direct Current Voltage Gradient Survey is a specific methodology developed for the detection and analysis of defects in underground pipeline coating. Defects are localized by examining potential gradients in the soil covering the pipelines to determine the direction of cathodic protection current flows. Cathodic protection acts in a current flow towards the steel points exposed in the pipeline. Defects in the coating can be located individually. The high sensitivity of DCVG instruments allows even the smallest defects to be located with accuracy. When a DC current is applied to a pipeline in a similar manner to cathodic protection, ground voltage gradients are created due to passage of current through resistive soil. Well-coated pipelines have a high resistance to earth. However, at locations where there are coating defects the resistance to earth is of such way that current can flow through the soil to be picked up by the pipe. In the vicinity of these defects measurable voltage gradients can be detected at ground level. The larger the defect, the greater the current flow. Increasing the current flow also results in an increased voltage gradient. Acceptances Criteria the acceptances criteria of direct current voltage gradient survey are depend upon coating severity of percentage IR. Zero percentage to 15 percentage is characterized as small coating faults that is minor. Such coating faults can usually be left unrepaired provided the pipeline cathodic protection is good and there are not too many small coating faults in close proximity. Greater than 15 percentage to 35 percentage is characterized as medium coating faults that is moderate. These coating faults may need repair usually within normal maintenance activities. Greater than 35 percentage to 70 percentage is characterized as medium large coating faults that is severe. These coating faults need to be excavated for inspection and repair in order to fix what could be considered a significant coating fault. Greater than 70 percentage to 100 percentage is characterized as large, important coating faults that is severe. These coating faults should be excavated early for inspection and repair. Principle of survey In cathodic protection when current flows through the resistive soil to the bare steel exposed at defects, in the protective coating, voltage gradient is generated in soil. Larger the defect greater the current flow and hence the voltage gradient. This is utilized in the technique to give priority to the defects for repair. When the two electrodes are placed approximately one and half meters apart on the soil on the voltage gradient from coating defect, one electrode adopts a more positive potential than the other, which allows the direction of current flow to be established and defect to be located. The voltage gradient is monitored by measuring the out of balance between two electrodes using specially designed mill voltmeter, called as DCVG survey meter. Assembling of DCVG equipment The DCVG meter is placed around the neck and waist. Connecting leads are fitted into the meter and into the probes to interconnect two probes with meter. The meter switch is then turned on and the range switch is adjusted from 4 volt to 1000 millivolt. With the probe tips placed in the soil the bias to the right hand probe is switched on. The bias to the left hand probe is not switched on, it is a spare available if needed. Now move to the test point at which the signal is to be measured. Procedure for survey Prior to carrying out DCVG survey Locate the pipeline with the help of pipeline locator and depth of burial of pipeline from the natural grade level shall be found out. 
setting up the DCVG signal. The most important parameter in ensuring an accurate survey and in determining the survey speed is the amplitude of DCVG pulsed signal. The red terminal of the interrupter should be connected to the cable going to the pipeline. The black terminal of the interrupter should be connected to the cable going to the CP unit. Polarity of the connection is important. If connection is wrong the interrupter will not switch the DC output. The amplitude or signal strength is the difference between on and off potentials measured on the pipe using DC VG meter, while the interrupter is switching on and off the applied DC source. Nearest CP unit shall be interrupted for survey work. The output signal from CP unit along with interrupter shall be adjusted in such a way to achieve good signal strength at longer distances. In case of survey area falls at center of two CP units. One CP unit shall be switched off for time being. The amplitude of DC VG signal shall be not less than 250 millivolt and not more than 1500 millivolt. Measure and record the set point at each test station by touching the bottom of one reference cell to the pipeline terminal in the test station and putting the other reference cell on the soil above pipeline. Rapid decay of signal measured at two locations one kilometer apart would be an indicator of poor coding on pipeline. A good coding would show very little attenuation of signal amplitude with distance. Carrying out DCVG survey by using center zero deflection voltmeter. While surveying the pipeline, the operator walks on the pipeline route for testing pulsing voltage gradient at regular intervals. As a defect is approached, the millivolt meter needle begins to respond to the pulse and pointing in the direction of current flow, which is towards the defect. When the defect is passed the needle direction completely reverses and slowly decreases as the operator moves away from the defect. By retracing toward defect, position of the electrodes can be found where needle shows no defection in either direction. The defect is sighted midway between the two electrodes. Where the two midway positions cross each other is the position directly above the coding defect. Pinpoint the defect location and draw a line on the ground then place the probes 2 meters away from the line and perpendicular to the line and move towards the defect. The meter needle comes to zero when the defect lies in between the two probes and draw a line between the probes. The point of intersection of both lines is the defect at the center. Place wooden pegs with defect marker written at the defect location. Measure over the line to remote earth potential by placing on probe at defect at center and the other perpendicular to the line approximately 1 to 1 and half meters distance. Read place the first probe where the second probe was placed and the second away from that and observe the meter deflection. Add all the millivolt drops and total of all the millivolt drops is termed as over the line to remote earth potential, OL or RE. Mention the change in the distance of the defects from kilometer markers for identification of fault location and for the purpose of relocating the fault location. Calculate the percentage of IR drop based on measured reading at fault drop versus actual set point value. Important Notes Acceptance Criteria for Coding Faults of the Pipelines the minor defects are not require any excavation and coating repair, they all are taken care by TR parameters. If having too many small coating faults in close proximity that is minor that being required to attain and repair usually within normal maintenance activities. Bell hole verification survey of single location at vicinity of minor defects should be necessary at minor defect location to acknowledge the magnitude of area of coating defect. As per above table moderate and severe defect are need to be excavated and coating repair. Prior to coating repair at coating defects locations, needs to measure the thickness of structure or pipeline. Measurement of thickness of structure or pipeline shall be carried out through gradient marking of square. Thanking you. And have a nice day.